Okay, so here's another related rates problem, uh, another application of differentiation. Let's say we're going to pump air into a balloon, a spherical balloon. Uh, a sphere right there. And we'll have the neck of the balloon here, something like that. And we're going to be pumping air in at 8, uh, let's say 8 cubic meters per minute. Okay, and we want to find out what's the, the rate at which the, the radius is changing um, at different points at the time. Because when the balloon gets bigger, the rate that the radius changes is going to get smaller. So we're going to find that out though, and I'll prove that. So first of all, we need the volume of a sphere formula. I'll write that up here. So the, 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 the formula for the volume of a sphere is V is equal to, let's say, uh, 4 pi over 3 times the radius cubed, right? That's just the, the formula for the volume of a sphere. Now, we're going to have to differentiate this to find uh, the rates of change. So if we want to differentiate with respect to time, uh, we, would, we can say that this would be dv dt is equal to, this is a constant, so we just leave that alone, 4 pi over 3 times, and then differentiate this, we would have um, 3, r, 3r squared times dr dt, right, times dr dt. So uh, what we do know, what we're given, the only bit of information actually that we were given really is that the rate of change in volume is 8 cubic meters per minute, right? So we know that this dv dt is equal to 8 uh, meters per minute, cubic meters per minute. And so we're going to write that here, the same thing. It's equal to 8 um, meters cubed per minute. Okay? Now, let's say we want to find the, the rate of change of the radius at different periods of time. Um, so let's find out what the rate of change is when the radius is equal to 1 meter. So let's say r is going to equal 1, and then we can just plug in all of our values. So dv dt, we already know, is 8 meters cubed per minute. So let's just say 8 is equal to, this change, this stays the same, uh, 4 pi over 3 times 3 times radius squared is 1 squared, times 1 squared, squared, uh, times dr dt, the rate of change of the radius. Oops, d, t. <laughs> so uh, we can see right here the threes cancel out and one squared is just one, so that doesn't really change much. And we'll rearrange to solve for the rate of change and the radius. So we get dr dt is equal to 8 divided by 4 pi. And we can divide that by 4, we get 2, that's 1. So the rate of change in the radius, when the radius is equal to 1, is equal to 2 pi. And uh, that is 2 pi meters per minute. So there you go, that's all that you have to do. Let's do another one uh, with the same set of uh, information. Let's find out what the rate of change is in the radius when, let's say, the, the radius is equal to 3. The radius is equal to 3. And we're going to see that the rate of change is actually going to slow down uh, and you can kind of think about that too, like the, you're going to have to keep putting in more and more air to get uh, the same amount of change as you go out as the volume increases. But we'll do this again. Uh, we know that the rate of change in volume is still, it's constant, it's 8 meters uh, cubed per minute. So we have 8 is equal to, again we have 4 pi over 3 um, times... 3 times the radius squared, and now the radius is 3 squared, times 3 squared, times dr dt, the rate of change in the radius. So again, uh, this 3 will cancel out, this will become a 9, and let's rearrange. So we get dr dt, uh, dt, it's kind of messy is equal to 8 
over 4 pi times 9. And again, this will cancel out. Uh, this will become a 2. And so we'll find that at the rate, when the radius equals 3 meters, uh, the rate of change of the radius is going to be 2 over 9 pi. Uh, again, that's meters per minute.